You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the We've Cougars. We've the Greg final Lebeau. out. It's time for the BYU Baseball postgame show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, BYU had not lost a game when leading after eight innings all year. Utah Valley had not won a game when trailing after eight innings all year. And BYU lost in the bottom of the ninth by a final score of 9-8. It was a four-run lead for BYU, and UVU scores five runs in the bottom of the ninth, aided by three BYU fielding errors. And the Cougars were error-free until the bottom of the ninth. Three errors. One on a third baseman, one on a pitcher, and one on a first baseman. And they were unusual errors in every way. Uh, the third baseman, Easton Jones, handles a short hop, but then the ball pops out of the glove, can't make the throw. A throw over from first, uh, over to first from pitcher when no one was covering to keep a runner. Ball got away, runners advance, and then on a grounder to first, uh, Jacob Wilk didn't handle quite cleanly, did pick it up and scoop to Beck, but Beck was off the bag by that point. And so back to back to back errors, and everyone who reached on error scored as five runs score. In the bottom of the ninth, UVU wins it by a score of 9-8. to eight. BYU's Maersk most valuable player tonight is Cooper Vest. Cooper tonight went uh, two for five with a run and five RBI, career high five RBI on his first grand slam included. Cooper Vest is the Maersk most valuable player brought to you by Maersk, your e-commerce logistics shipping partner. Congrats to Cooper for that. On the rubber is brought to you by Big O Tires. On the rubber takes a look at both teams pitching numbers. It's brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. Utah Valley pitchers go nine innings, give up only six hits, eight runs all earned, walked 13, and they won this game. They struck out 12. There were two wild pitches, 186 Utah Valley pitches on this night. BYU pitchers combined to go eight and two-thirds, and there were seven pitchers on the night. They give up nine hits, nine runs, only six of them earned, and that's the, uh, the killer in the bottom of the ninth. 13 strikeouts, five bases on balls, two wild pitches, a hit batsman, 197 pitches for BYU pitchers on this night as BYU falls by a score of 9-8. to We'll take a break. We'll continue with more coverage from Orem, UCCU Ballpark. Utah Valley ends a 14-game losing streak to BYU and wins it with five in the bottom of the ninth tonight. 9-8 to is your final score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Postgame Show. Now, back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Uh, back here at UCCU Ballpark, doTERRA Field at UCCU Ballpark in Orem, Utah. And uh, Utah Valley scores five in the bottom of the ninth to break BYU's hearts tonight to eight. Uh, nine to eight is your final score. BYU falls to eight and 15 on the year. Utah Valley goes to 14 and 10. BYU does not pick up. Uh, consecutive wins for the first time since March 2nd and 3rd. Let's get you our final stats uh, brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. BYU scores eight runs on six hits. There were three errors, and all the errors came in the bottom of the ninth tonight. Uh, BYU left 11 aboard. Utah Valley scores nine runs on nine hits. They were errorless and left eight aboard. And... Uh, Utah Valley with only its uh, second night game of the year. And they improved to 2-0 in the nighttime games. They improved to 4-2 and at home. BYU drops to a 3-10 and in true away games. They're 5-3 and at home, 3-10 and on the road, and 0-2 oh and on neutral fields. And uh, BYU, which led 8-4 to four, uh, after 8, uh, loses 9-8 to eight after allowing 5 in the bottom of the ninth inning. Tough one for the Cougs. They'll look to bounce back as they stay on the road but really hit the road as tomorrow BYU will travel to Spokane and take on Gonzaga. The Zags near the top of the WCC. A game out of first place right now. It'll be Gonzaga and BYU Thursday at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Friday at 7 o'clock Mountain Time and again Saturday at 7 o'clock Mountain Time as well. Then BYU will be on the road, stay on the road, play at Pullman, uh, take on Washington State on Monday at 1 o'clock Mountain Time. That's next Monday. So the next four all on the road. This five-game road stretch begins with a tough one here tonight in Orem. Final score is Utah Valley 9 and BYU 8. That will do it for our post-game coverage. We will uh, thank our crew back at BYU Radio. Seth Larson, who's our control board operator tonight, our coordinating producer, as always, is Terry South. Double check quickly on our intern situation for tonight. No intern tonight. Or was it Colton? It was Colton. Colton, right? 
think we had Colton, right? No, no intern tonight. So no intern back at the studio. So thanks to Seth and Terry for uh, handling things uh, themselves. Uh, appreciation to those guys, along with our engineer, Barry Squires, and the engineering crew, to Clark Jackman and Sean O'Neill in BYU Radio Operations, and to Casey Stoffer on the BYU Radio, the BYU Athletics corporate sponsorship team. Thanks to all those folks. With appreciation to... Uh, Ryan Pickens, the Utah Valley Baseball Communications Director, and Duff Tittle, BYU Baseball's Communications Director. My name is Greg Grubel. Thanking you for tuning in. Our final score tonight is Utah Valley 9 and BYU 8, and you heard it all right here. So in the meantime and in between time, this has been Cougar Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good night and so long from Orem, Utah. You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Keith Borking, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director for Corporate Sponsorships, Casey Stoffer. BYU Cougars Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.